this is Mark Stiles. You're one of the men. One of the men. <laughs> one of the men. <laughs> Mark, welcome. Welcome. Thank and, you. Uh, Thank you. And uh, it's a thrill to have you here. So, um, I wanted to ask you about uh, well, some of the accolades that your group has has been awarded. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Wow. Uh, well, a combination of things actually. The um, Michigan uh, Events and uh, Meeting Planners Magazine mm -hmm. um, considered us the best entertainment in Michigan in 2006. Oh, that's wonderful. And that that's was a big great. deal. Uh, sure. We've been at it quite a while. We have a wide variety of things we offer to our customers in terms of the types of shows we do. So to be kind of universally awarded best entertainment in Michigan in a state where there's, we know there's incredible yeah. talent. But that was that was nice. Uh, this last summer we performed at the governor's residence for the service awards. Mm -hmm. um, we weren't, we didn't win the award, and I'm not trying to mislead that, but. Mm -hmm. uh, just being a part of an event where they're honoring the volunteers of Michigan. So you not only sing, uh, Mark, you also write some of the music, I understand. The nice thing about the way we've, we've handled our original music to this point is that uh, if, we, if we had a song that we wrote and it fit where we were going, then we brought it forward. Uh, Paul's song, It's You, was a perfect example of a song that was actually inspired by us. And Paul saw mm -hmm. Chuck saying goodbye to Jennifer, his wife, one day on a long tour, we were going to be gone four days through Wisconsin, and um, and it was part of the inspiration as well as other things uh, for Paul, and it's been a 13-year kind of anth road anthem for the group um, that uh, people continue to ask for. It's one of the most popular songs we do, and we hang on to it because it's a great song. It's got a great message, and two years ago when we were in Germany singing for the troops, it actually took on a whole new meaning the families over there about saying goodbye to your loved ones and uh, and letting them know how important they are to you when you when say goodbye. I look into your eyes, it's not hard to realize the loneliness you feel each time I say goodbye. I hope that you know each time that I go that the best part of me is you there at home. Yes, it's you. song called Man Behind the Camera and it was my inspiration was I was chasing my new new kids around I have three kids and I was chasing my kids around with my camera and I realized that my dad did the same thing hmm. and his dad started to his dad was a photographer as well and started to you know with the technology of cameras in the 60s you know 50s hmm. but um, and it was the idea that uh, the first line of the song is, uh, looking back through my childhood, through an old photo book, I thought I noticed someone missing till I took a closer look. My father rarely was in pictures, for he was on the other side. He was the man behind the camera, watching me grow through one eye. Aww. And that was, it just, it was like two minutes of writing. It really did, it just <laughs> kind of flowed. And uh, th so the inspiration was that it's kind of a torch that's handed down among men. Mm -hmm. when you're a family man and a father that you're there taking the cap the captured pictures or the video and then when your kids look back on their history they look back on their childhood their perspective was made by their father's viewpoint mm -hmm. if the dad was right up in their face or if their dad was over in the stands or wherever they probably don't have exact memories but the capture uh, is what they'll always take with them so I put it into music the timing has not been right maybe it's something that comes up soon but we're we're looking at expanding the show multimedia-wise, adding photos and adding screens and things behind us, and maybe that means the time is right for then a song that's an original sure. that then puts the pictures up behind us yes. and, and takes it to another level. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I think that would yeah, be a great well, addition. Uh, we all can kind of see it, and it's not, yeah. uh, we never are, have forced it on each other. It's not mm -hmm. like, I'm the songwriter of the band, and we're going to do my songs. It isn't. It's about what's right for us. Mm -hmm. Can we sell it? Can we sing it? And then if the timing's right, do it. And that's, I think the timing's right for that song. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not personal. Yeah, you know, sure. I really, truly uh, sure. hope it works for everybody. 
I think one reason your group works so well is that collaboration. And you can feel that when you're in the audience and you see how, how wonderfully the four of you work together. It's just really yeah. refreshing and it's, it's just, it's obvious. Yeah. And I think that feeling goes out into the audience. It's well, thanks. It's, it's, it and it's always genuine. Uh, I can think of in 18 years a handful of days where that look on my face was real. Uh -huh. I really don't like you right now. <laughs> and I'm sorry it happened in song six of the first set. <laughs> well, in no, 18 it's, years. No, I, I, say, I mean, you know, and we've talked uh -huh. about these kind of things a lot. Sure. That uh, my, my personal point, I guess, on this topic is, is in the early stages, we rode together in the same van. Mm -hmm. And we had to clear the air before we opened that sliding door on the Grand Caravan, mm -hmm. you know. We had to load all our stuff in together. Then we had to sit shoulder to shoulder. And Paul and I, believe me, that's a task. You know, when we're on the <laughs> same bench seat, <laughs> you got two pretty good, got good sized guys. But um, the, the point I'm, I'm making is that we didn't hang on to anything. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that maybe that's a guy thing, maybe it isn't, but we never held on to anything. It was never personal. Um, mm -hmm. It was over before we got in the van. And I really truly think, Nancy, that, that that's helped us over the long haul, but it helped us in the early stages, the critical stages of advancing and going forward and becoming something like this, was that we had respect for each other, we cleared the air, it wasn't ever personal, and we rode tight in that same car, and if we'd had four separate cars in the early stages, I, I, who knows, I mean, maybe that'd be yeah. one impactful thing. It might be a different group yeah. in some yeah. ways, mm -hmm. but Absolutely. that's a wonderful message. Life is just too short. Yeah. It really yeah. is, and yeah. I think you, when you work that tightly together, you have to yeah. do that. That's great. And there's always been that team attitude, the pitching in, the, you know, we have a truck where when the truck shows up, we're there to unload it. Mm -hmm. the, the tours of Germany in 04 and 06, we had, uh, we had um, 12 days in the first tour with 23 performances. Wow. We had uh, 16 days the second tour, 38 performances. Oh and that was an all hands on deck, guys. Get to the base, go through the military checkpoint, you know, do uh, dogs sniffing for bombs around our truck, mirrors underneath yeah. to see if there's anything underneath it. But then here's the place, everybody loads out like a fire drill, you know, you're just unloading, you set it up. You know, hey, we're on in an hour, everybody mm -hmm. just relax for a bit. And we do two assemblies back to back, tear it all down, go to another base. Um, that was a great example of, of the fact that if we had not ever worked together the way we had, that is impossible to do, sure. impossible. You just can't, you can mm -hmm. find great musicians and we'll tell you there are plenty of them out there that you know musically are better than three men and a tenor. Can they unload a truck and do 38 <laughs> shows in 16 days? And the balance, mm -hmm. it's important. Mm -hmm. um, sure. And I think that's, that's one of our strengths of character that when you're looking at three men and a tenor to an audience, it is more than just what I just saw over two hours. It's those four guys and what they represent mm -hmm. and how they work together. And I. I think that's got a, a lot of strength to it. That's great. Yeah. That's wonderful to hear. Thank you. I mean, you. it really is. I wrote that. You wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> that's your next song. That's right. <laughs> uh, we'll come up with something. <laughs> Four men in a van. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> right. Well, great. Well, thanks so much. We're going to bring well, on the fourth guy. Great. And again, we'll see you tonight. And Sounds good. We're excited. Thanks for the, thanks for the time talking with you. Oh, Appreciate it. It was great.